Hey, you guys want to watch this porn? What? No. no. Yeah. What the fuck? Look, I'm curious, okay? We are at an elementary school. Well, that's why I'm curious. If he's wanting to show us at a school, it's gotta be important, right? Yes. No! All right, fine, I'll show Noel, and then when you hear the audio and get intrigued, you can watch too. Whatever audio comes out of that phone is just gonna move me farther away from it. I'm going over there. Well, what's over there? Anything but here. The fuck is that guy's problem? I have no idea. What, he doesn't want to watch a girl? Excuse me. A woman? Excuse me. A legend? Starring her most famous motion picture to date that broke her out onto the scene as one of the best porn stars of the 21st century? Is that what you're about to show me? That's what I'm showing you right now. Watch. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, doggy. Who the hell is that? That's Dax Danger. He never shows his face, but he's got a hell of a grip on that thing. No, I'm not interested in the guy holding the cucumber. I'm interested in the girl taking in her- Girl? Sorry, woman. That legend is Carrie Love. Getting nostalgic just watching this. Maddie. I appreciate you and your desire to show me a wide range of films I've never been introduced to before, but... Yeah, introduce you to a Hitchcock member. Pretty sure that was Lee. Whatever. Alfred can shove a Hitchcock up my ass. What do you even title a video like this? Probably Man Punishes Woman by Shoving a Cucumber Up Her Ass. That fits it. It's actually called Step Daddy Punches Stepdaughter by Shoving a Cucumber Up Her Ass. Does it have to be incest, though? It's not incest. Hello, Step. You already have the Cucumber Up Her Ass. Do you need him to almost be related to? Well, you gotta make it interesting. God damn it. What, you wanna watch it now? I can do it from over there. I'm just forcing myself to embrace it for now. That's how she says hello. I think that's how she says get this vegetable out of my ass. Please. Please? Yeah, she's a legend with manners. Classy. Assy. Bye. That fucking scene, right the fuck there. That's the reason I'm doing this shit. You know, there's faster ways of telling me why you're going to film school than show me the first 30 minutes of a movie. Like straight up telling me why you're going to film school. Yeah, but then we wouldn't watch the first 30 minutes of this film. How many times have you seen this again? More times than I've got outside. Same, but that's not a high bar to reach. This scene specifically, dude, it's what sets everything in motion. I'm not even talking about him adopting his moral obligations or whatever. Well, I am, but... I just love how he doesn't have some sort of vendetta against the world. The death of a loved one is a vehicle that drops him off his next destination rather than a constant driving factor. It leads him to discovering his true reason for being a hero, just because. Yeah, that's hopefully why they don't flash back to it in any of the sequels. I don't need a fucking last time on recap every fucking movie. Yeah, why would you be watching the sequel if you didn't know the first thing about the hero? Not that it's always important to have an origin, but... This scene I can watch over and over again. The fact that she doesn't have any last words, like this unspoken moment of assurance. Yeah. Their whole history and relationship boiled down to this one moment. It plants a seed for him to realize it wasn't actually his fault. It's... amazing. Yeah. Life's amazing. Do it! Do it! hey -o! Before you move a centimeter, or say a syllable, can you please just... Not be Maddie until the wrestling event is over, and we go our separate ways in the exact opposite directions. Just a nice, chill hangout for once. Well, speaking of centimeters, suck my 5.8 inch dick because guess who just ordered the pizza? All by himself. Is that something to brag about? Yeah, it's only slightly below the US average. No, you know what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, I do. The pizza. You ordered a pizza. Yeah, pepperonis and olives, baby. Well, I guess if you went through the strenuous effort of ordering the pizza, all by yourself, then you wouldn't get rid of the one ingredient that I hate, right? Oh, sorry, Lee, I forgot you hate pepperoni. I just got what Noel likes. I hate olives. Noel only likes pepperoni, and you remember. What? No, you hate olives? I'm fine. So, when's it getting here? It's not. What? Well, delivery costs more, so I ordered pickup. Who's gonna pick it up? You're a fucking asshole, Maddie. What? I'm the only one that can drive here. I'm picking it up. Well, if you want. I mean, Noel can drive too, and if he needs a riding buddy, I can tag along. I mean, you both can- He doesn't have his license yet. Well, that doesn't mean he can't drive. Why can't you get on your skateboard and get it? Because I broke my skateboard trying to ollie off the Martin Luther King statue. Obviously. I mean, he did do that earlier. Tried to. Why? Now, what kind of a question is that? I would have asked that's how you got your traumatic brain injury, but we all know that happened before the accident. Well, you told your skateboard too. How'd you get here? I walked. So why can't you- The fuck is that guy's problem? Well, he's... You know. Oh. 
He's what? Ah. Um, okay. Well, now that we can have an intellectual conversation, have you played the new ICW game yet? ICW? You mean the ICW, the Intergalactic Championship Wrestling video game? Yeah. No, I haven't even bought it yet. What? Who stuck a dick up your ass? What's that supposed to mean, though? Like, you gotta stick up your ass like you're in a bad mood. When did dick just make me feel good, though? Well, it sure gets me going. No, but I I just haven't had the time. Ah, uh, shoot more of that black and white bullshit with Lee? That and Casablanca need to come out of my ass. I don't think it's bullshit. You let dudes come in your ass? Well, it's better than scooping out a cucumber. <laughs> How's the game? Dude. I've never gotten harder at watching two sweaty men rubbing up against each other, and I've watched a, a lot, lot of gay porn. porn. How did you know I was going to say that? You say that a lot. No, I don't. Well, every time they come out with a new game, you do. But this is even better, dude. I literally turn it on, and it, no joke, looks like the show it's based on. Like, they took the show and put it in there. You say that every time, too. But it's even better. Dude, even the customization fucks, too. I thought it already fucked. Fucked is a good thing in this case, right? It is fucking orgasmic in this case, my guy. We would ask why you use that wording, but... I don't give a fuck what Lee thinks. Uh, speaking of wrestling, you get the tickets on you? Oh, real wrestling. Yeah, got them. What, you thought I didn't? Let's make it sure. You got your own? Mm-hmm. Oh, Manny, uh, who's on the match card tomorrow night? Oh. I don't know, it's not loaded. Oh. Why can only gay people say the F word? What? What? Okay, first, how the fuck did that question sneak in that dense fucking skull of yours? Well, no last asked about wrestling. I thought about big sweaty men rubbing up against each other and got reminded. Got reminded of gay people? What the fuck are you looking at right now? Um... I'm bi. Oh, you are? Yeah. And you always seem to magically forget whenever you make a gay joke. Well, congratulations on coming out. That's a big deal. There it fucking is. Fucking hell, why are you so mad? Because you're always going around saying, suck, suck, dick, dick. Like it's something to be ashamed of. No one says shit like pussy eaters an insult. Well, if you're bi, you're only like half gay, right? You can't be half. I don't know, Maddie. I guess we just thought of it one day. Thought it'd be cool to say. Yeah, it is. You're not supposed to think that. What do you mean? You people say it all the time. He said you people. I'll be listening to Freddie Mercury and be like, Damn, you know why this song is so good? It's not because he says the F word. Exactly, it's because he says the F word. And he sounds cool saying it. Freddie Mercury doesn't say the F word. And who's that gay guy that says it in like every song? Freddie Mercury wasn't gay. Then what was he? He was bi. Okay, you can't tell someone they're not gay just because they don't fall into the stereotype of what a gay person is. You can't tell me to say the F word. I'm not telling you who can say the F word. Then Noel, can you please translate what the fuck this dude's trying to tell me? Because I don't understand a goddamn thing. Well, he's trying to say... What the fuck are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm saying that true equality only comes when people can be treated the same. Thus, everybody should be able to act how they want to act, right? Do what they want to do with their lives and shit. So why the fuck can I say- Because it offends me. There. That makes sense. I'm sorry. Oh, good. So you guys, like, took back the word for, like, empowerment and stuff? I mean, I don't say it, but I guess. What if I want to feel empowered? You already get to do whatever you want with your life. How much more empowerment do you need? We can all do whatever we want with our lives. You can do whatever you want with your life. What if I said it right now? 
What? What? What if I said... So, do you think there will be any cool stipulations to the pay-per-view tomorrow, or... Fine. What? Say it. Really? Yeah. I give you permission. I don't need your permission. To do what? To feel empowered. And what would make you feel empowered right now? If I said... <gasps> do you think he's mad at me? Why is everyone starting to look at me like that? Yeah, I think he's mad at you. I just want him to think I'm homophobic. <laughs> you wanna watch this porn? It's got Carrie Love doing a- No, no thanks, I'm good. Yeah. Just come out. Trust me. Okay. The fuck is happening now? Oh my god! It's the man! The myth! The... Man! Deadly! Is that me? At least I got something better. No one knows what's happening right now. Deadly can't be too happy about his rival Mean Peen retaining the title tonight! What? What's happening, though? It's your promo. Go with it. I'm not in the mood. Exactly. You're not in the mood. You're pissed off. Curse him out. Call his mama. Well, don't do that, but fucking call me F-word. No, he'd probably like that, though. Like, well, you're probably right, but think of something. Hi. You talking to me, Tinky Dinky? Tinky Dinky? That's right! When you slap it on the table, it makes a tink sound! Your dick, tink! My dick, boom! You can't say your exact penis size by centimeter at the beginning of the day and then call it big by the end of it. Let me tell you something, fucker! Ever since you hit me over the head with that steel chair and sent me to a coma, I've been just waiting to get back in that squared circle and slapping me with that big ass as if it was the first time I went to my cousin's house just waiting for the opportunity to wrap my hands around your neck. And I'm not gonna be just satisfied with pinning your shoulders to the mat for that one, two, three. Although I'm gonna find at least a little bit of satisfaction seeing another man under me, legs spread in the air like it's goddamn missionary position. Wait, stop. And if that happens, I'm coming for you. Stop. What's the problem? We gotta change the lighting. The fuck's wrong with the lighting? I can see a shot on the green screen. It's gonna fuck up the keying. Because <laughs> that's the problem. It's one of them. No, it's not. I don't even know what that means. I mean, that's not the only problem. There's also wrinkles all throughout it. There are! But it's fine. It's funny. Let's just keep going. Yeah, put more wrinkles in it. Rip it open! This shit's stupid as fuck anyways. Might as well. Who the fuck suck a dick up your ass? Fucking... Mean peen, apparently. No, I'm being serious. You're being serious? Yeah. Since when have you ever been serious? Guys, can we just... This dick's pretty serious. Exactly. Everything's a fucking joke to you. It's only about having fun. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? It is when all you do is get high and jerk off all day unless you're hanging out with Noel, the guy that actually changes things up by paying for wrestling shit for you to go and bother me on. Why do you give a fuck? It's not your life. Because you have the whole world in front of you at 18 years old and you're gonna let it pass you by and drag Noel down with you too. I don't think it's like that. Sorry, I don't want to take my ass to Harvard. I'm not going to Harvard. And pay out the ass for a diploma. It's not gonna even feel nice when I wipe my ass with it. You couldn't even spell Harvard. Well, I know what sex feels like. And I always like to not give a fuck about what everyone thinks about me, or what other people are doing with their lives. If you're so concerned with what Noel's doing, why don't you just do nothing with us all day and watch over him like you're his fucking babysitter? Because I don't have the privilege or inheritance to do nothing like you do. I'm the first person in my family that's going to college, let alone planning on graduating. If I stop for one day to relax, I have a bunch of people hiring me to pick my ass up and get back to work. And that's why you can't come out of the closet to them. Excuse me? Could you give so much of a fuck about them giving a fuck about who you fuck, you just can't not give a fuck and just tell them who you fuck? What does that have to do with- You care too much about what everyone thinks about you and just warp your fucking brain, my guy. No, because of the fact that I simply don't want to. I can't be a piece of shit and do nothing storm for the rest of my life. Just because I have people in my life who expect something out of me doesn't change that. Trying to remind me that I don't? It's not what I meant. Well, it's kind of hard to know what your dad wants out of you when you come home one day and his blood's all over the floor. I think... I 
think he's trying to say maybe you're not processing this properly. All I'm trying to say is that I think you're stuck mentally at the age that it happened. and I think that you need to move on so that what happened to your dad doesn't happen to you. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying you can do so much more than what you're doing right now. I'm not just jerking off all day, Lee. God damn. That's not what I... Then what are you doing? I'm... playing ICW. So... You're saying that you don't jerk off to carry love getting cucumbers shoved up her ass as she screams the painful joy? Politely screams. <laughs> oh. Carrie Love's a porn star. Hey, Maddie, you, uh, you ever seen Wonder Kid? What? Oh, Lee's favorite movie? Yeah. A long-ass time ago, not gonna lie, I got pretty bored. I don't think I ever finished it. Superheroes get boring as fuck with their uptight attitudes and even tighter asses. Like, why do they think they're so special? What makes their dick so much bigger than mine? Their cocks are bigger than your tinky dinky because they're inspirations. They represent the best parts of people and present a standard for those people to strive for. What, I'm supposed to strive to shoot webs out of my fucking spider dick? No, you, you don't... You don't strive to become them physically, but you can be them morally. Well, we can. I think I get you. Do you now? Yeah. Oh. You just had to call his dick Tinky. Yeah, what the fuck was that for? <laughs>